Michael Gove, Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson. There they were, driving around in that little red bus. 350 million a week to the NHS written on the side. And then you have Nigel Farage complaining that there was somebody on the bus speaking a foreign language. Oh, God forbid. Well, they also said that we trade with the world post Brexit. Hmm. Instead of the 447 million people in the block. Well, they said we could have it all. That's what they said. Unfortunately, the world doesn't appear to want to trade with us. No. Post-Brexit, European Union suppliers, well, they're weary about doing business with the United Kingdom. Warns uh, manufacturers. Well, business leaders, they say, trade relations with the European Union are costing the British economy. You don't say. As suppliers in the block, they grow more and more cautious about doing business with post-Brexit Britain. Can you blame them? Well, it's adding pressure on Richie Sunak's government, and somebody needs to. It's boss bosses, they're warning they are, that the UK is falling behind its peers. Well, you've probably seen this, haven't you? Yeah, it looked great, do not it? Well, this is uh, July, September last year, and it's not looking any better now. Can't see any growth, can you? We're going backwards, unfortunately. So, a group called Make UK. Well, they've called for an urgent reset of political and trading relationships with the European Union. Well, we just had one, haven't we? Yeah, it's just been announced last week. They call it the Windsor Framework. That's what they called it. I call it a nightmare, <laughs> quite frankly. It's not like it was when we were in the EU. No matter how uh, well Richie Sunak might want to try and sell it. It's a logistical nightmare. Well, that's another story. The trade body, Make UK, but said that almost half of UK manufacturers in a survey uh, of a, well, more than 100 leading industrial companies and banks, etc., said their EU suppliers had grown more cautious um, about doing you know, business with Britain. Now, earlier this year, Make UK said more than 40% of manufacturers thought that the political chaos of last year well, had damaged the image of uh, the United Kingdom. Just think about that for a moment. Yes, <laughs> it has. No longer that place for direct foreign investment. No. But apparently Northern Ireland will be, now we've got the Windsor framework. Ask Richie Sunak, he knows. Yeah, why can't we all have that? Why can't Scotland have that? Well, with growing caution among international counterparts about doing business uh, with Britain, or in Britain, the latest uh, health check on the industrial sector, well, it showed uh, that many firms were looking to find suppliers closer to home. Yeah, and that home not being in the UK. No, in the EU. Well, as well as diversifying their supply chains amid uh, concerns over political well, instability. And the United Kingdom are having to do the same because they can't get supplies. But we don't make anything anymore. To the degree that we did before. No. Ask Maggie Thatcher. Oh, no, you can't. We've got a service, uh, well, industry. That's what we are. Very little manufacturing in the United Kingdom. Probably why we'd... Well, the Red Wall isn't too happy. Red Wall voters, you know. So much for levelling up. We're going to level up the services industry. Well, you're not going to level up unless we start manufacturing goods again. But if we can't get the supplies, how are we going to do that? Now, almost a fifth of manufacturers said they had reduced the number of suppliers from the EU in the last 12 months. Because they don't want the you know, ship here. Logistics are also a, a problem. However, the report showed that damage to the UK's image and trading relationship well, was not limited to partners um, in the EU, no. Over 35% of the firms agreeing that suppliers from... The rest of the world were also cautious about uh, Britain. 
Even the US banks, City Group, have pretty much said the same and they've set up in the Paris. All the new trading floors, what they've done in the French capital. Now, they said that us Remainers, us who wanted to stay in the European Union, the Brexiters used to say that we are the traitors. Just like they did the judges, just like they did those in the, uh, well, Parliament. They're all traitors, what they said. Well, when you consider the amount of damage the Brexiters have done to Britain and the United Kingdom as a whole, well, I think they're probably the traitors, don't you? You tell me. Please leave it in the comments down below. And please, 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 click like and subscribe. And maybe that little bell icon. Because then you get a warm, fuzzy feeling in your pocket every time I upload another video. <sighs> oh dear. Will that poop ever hit the fan? I don't know. Will people actually ever grow up? Wake up. Kind of what I meant to say. Probably not. Probably a bit of both, actually, come to think about it. I just want the Brexit. That's what I said. They got their Brexit. Unfortunately, businesses aren't getting their suppliers, no. It's all gone a bit pear-shaped. Us in the United Kingdom, we can't get our imports from the EU. No. So now we're going to have to look closer to home. But to where? We don't make anything anymore. Anyway, like I say, the poop has hit the fan, so those turds are airborne. I suppose that could be the secret word of today, the then. Flying poo. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bombs away. Oh, well. Well, it's time for me to go, so I can say ta-ta, you know, so ta-ta. Don't forget, leave it in the comments down below.